Christ, so I'm about to do a video on this beautiful instrument of wind, um, which I'll tell you about in the actual video, but for right now, it's more a case of how in the bloody hell do I change the strings on an Evertune bridge? That's the problem. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. So, first things first, what I need to do is get this hair out of the way. So what I find is the best um, hair product is actually a um, Daddario guitar lead strap. Get one of them. Get rid of your hair a treat. It's an absolute monster hairband. Okay, right, so let's see what the deal is here. So I've never done this before. I've owned the guitar now for about a month, maybe a little bit more. Um, done a few shows there. And I'm basically just going to see how you um, how you go about this, this thing. So I'm going to start recording. I'm going to speed stuff up and slow stuff down. So this is the camera we're going to be mainly looking at. Over here, I don't know. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll we'll do another shot from this as well. So what I'm gonna do is initially I'm gonna cut all the strings off first. If I need to, I'll speed all this crap up. But basically, with this model, but it won't be this model in particular. It'll be all models. Um, it has a double locking um, string thing. So not only does it go through the back here but it will also lock there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna undo the strings a little bit, bring them down. It literally, it's bad news because you can't hear it, but the strings just loosen and loosen and loosen and I don't know what's happening, but the little pin or the, the little point of the bridge now, see on that E string, it's completely disappeared into the bridge. Now this is all perfectly in tune in C, drop C. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna loosen that stuff off the back and I'm just gonna pull that lead out. So I don't know what camera I'm showing this to, but basically you've just seen what I'm gonna do. Right, I'm gonna do that with all of them real quick sharp and then um, So basically it gets to the point where it just stops. It stops tuning. Then it starts down tuning. So you can hear, you'll hear on the higher notes. Nothing's changing. And then there we are. So there's that big point of the tension not being there. Right, and I'm just gonna pull this out and I'm gonna just do that for all of them. So again, nothing happening, and then there we are. And then I'm gonna get it so the little eyelet is straight, and I'm gonna loosen off the back, ping, pop that out. Again, nothing. Uh, we've got a visit, a visit from a dog storm. What's up, baby? There she is. Baby, say hello to people. This is being all cute. Right, okay, so continue. Nothing. Oh, it's snapped that one. Or maybe I was going the wrong way. Anyway, that one's just snapped. Right, so that one snapped off. I need to pull that out. Well, they were due a change, weren't they? Mm. Why do things not work? Anyway, let me get these out of the way first. Um, so, what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to push them out as best I can. 
through these holes at the back. Now what I, I tend to do is just cut the ends off because they've got a little hook on them. So just take the ends off them. So now all the ends are straight, they should pull through. Damn sight easier. And then take your old strings, give them a bit of a wrap before your dog thinks that they're a fun toy. Because they're not a fun toy and they'll have a dog's eye out. So there you go, right, so they're gone. Yeah, basically the little, the high ear got stuck inside the nutty thing. Right, anyway, it's all right now. So that fell out. Don't know where it's gone. It's gonna end up in my, in my shoe or something. Right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give everything a little bit of a clean down. So microfiber cloth, blah, 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 blah. Um, these fluency pickups, you want to uh, you want to keep them nice and shiny and stuff. Um, so right, I'm just gonna go away and I'm gonna give that a little bit of a clean. What I'm gonna be using is this, which is weird because it's like a, it's for a um, it's for a Harley Davidson helmet. I'm gonna be using that because it's a matte finish and this just works a treat on matte finishes. However, it dries your fretboard out like a nonce. So what I am gonna do then is I'm gonna put some of this lemon oil and you can tell how long this has lasted because it was still labeled as Planet Waves. It's now Dario. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that shit on the fretboard and get it all looking beautiful and spanky and nice. I'm gonna do that right now and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the rest of this um, install string install let's go let's go clean up right so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to start feeding the strings through so here's my now bear in mind this guitar is in drop d and um, but i'm putting tens on now traditionally traditionally tens wouldn't go down to drop C, they would, but they'd, they'd be like a floppy mess. The good thing about this being truly diverse is that you um, you can put tens on and it'll tension up the way it should. Well, at least that's the, uh, well, that's what it comes with. That's That's what we've just taken off. So what I would normally do is I'll run the string as straight as I possibly can, as much as I possibly can. And then what I would do is I will pull it out and nip it off. Okay, so now what I've got is the string is cut. I'm gonna pop it. So right, so now I've got it in, I'm just starting stringing it again. And it's starting to go up there. So I'm just gonna pull it down again. Until it gets into that section where it's not doing anything. Now, the brass all work. So now I'm just gonna repeat that process for the whole guitar and see what happens. Right, so let me just go away, do that. And then I'll show you the final outcome. So just bringing it through in, tuning it up until it starts to go up and then bringing it back down to the point just before it started to go up. And that should be in tune. So that should be a C, we will see in a sec. Right, I'm gonna go away and do all that stuff, so give us a sec and I'll put them all on. Right, so I'll show you what I mean with this one. Um, so I've got all the strings on, uh, all cut and everything, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna play this high E. 
some ten in it. See the way it doesn't change the pitch. Then it does. So I've literally just put those strings on, tightened them up to where it just goes up and then I've brought it back down. Might be a little loud. But it's not a million miles out and I've done no tuning. Pretty bloody close, so I might need to do just a little tweaking. But it sounds to me like that's in. And that's incredible, because I've literally just put the strings on. So another good thing of this system, yeah, thanks, Paul. Another good thing about this system is, you'd never have to tune in again. You just tighten them up, and you're in tune, because the tuning was set here before I put the strings on. Incredible. Right, okay, so that's how you tune and um, do an ever-tuned bridge. It's bloody easier than just a normal bridge. Put it in. Done, done. Right, okay, cool. Nice one, guys. So I will see you in the next one, which will be a full demo of this particular guitar, which should hopefully be up on Wednesday, or whenever you see this, it'll be up in a few days. But if you see this and it's already up, just go and check it out. That's it. Awesome. Okay, man, that's incredible. So the Evertune bridge by a company called Evertune. It's pretty easy to restring. Throw it in the back there. Feed it through to your lock and tuners. Lock them off. Turn it until it goes in up in pitch, and then bring it back down till it goes down in pitch again. You get vibrato and everything. It just works like a normal guitar. Holy shit balls, mom. Right, go and conquer the universe. I'll see you in the next one. Peas. So just as a little extra, just a little aside. So basically I tuned it all in. Now, I set this guitar up when it came straight out of the box from Ibanez, which means the strings might have been on for a couple of weeks, couple of months maybe. Um, so I set it up with those old strings on. Now put new strings on. It was a little bit out of tune. So what I've done is I have set it up. Now how you set it up is you take this little key and you put it in that little slot like that. And then you literally tune your string with the key. Don't tune the key string with the tuning pegs up the top. You just set the tension with those guys. You tune it up with this bad boy. And it's shaped like a guitar, which is kind of cute. And then once you've tuned that in, you should then be Perfectly in tune. Awesome. Right, full review coming next couple of days. Great guitar. What a system. Absolutely freaking me out. Right, see you guys in the next one properly now. See ya.